I wanted to talk today about how to migrate data from outside platforms into WordPress, specifically in relation to social networks for BuddyPress importing user data or BBPress importing forum data. But this also applies to WordPress generally in terms of the philosophy of how you go about it. We at BuddyBoss, we get asked this question all the time from customers who are currently using some other social platform and they want to switch to BuddyPress. The big concern is I already have user data, how do I get it in? So the first thing I want to give you is just a quick overview of kind of how a database works. I'm not going to get too technical, but just so you understand the challenge of what we're, what we're trying to do. So if you've never seen it, this is PHP my admin, this is database. Don't be too intimidated. It's basically just a fancy Excel sheet. That's what a database is, uh, to put it simply. All right, so we can open up, for example, WP, W post table, and you can see this looks very similar to uh, an Excel sheet, right? I mean, it's just columns and rows with data in it. The difference between this and Excel sheet is that instead of one flat thing, you could almost think of each table as like uh, a different sheet in your cell. So that's how data is stored. And within WordPress, the columns that are set up, basically the data structure is determined by WordPress. There's a standard way that, uh, that WordPress plugins are supposed to store data. And so things like BuddyPress and BBPress be store it within the table structure of WordPress, whereas whatever platform you're currently using that's not WordPress, is store it's also using a database. Um, but the way that it's storing the data, the, the structure of the data is inevitably going to be different from WordPress. So this is the core challenge that we have to figure out how to extract that data out of your existing platform and then import that data into WordPress. But it's not as much, it's not enough to just export and import often you have to remap the data. So the, the tables that the data is stored in has to be stored in a different, different set of tables and has to be remapped. So this is kind of the challenge for importing data. Luckily, there are some tools that help with parts of it. So here we have uh, this plugin, Import Users from CSV with Meta. So this is for importing user data specifically. A CSV uh, stands for comma separated value. It's basically uh, but if you open up Excel, you can export and save your Excel file as a CSV. It's kind of like a simplified cross-platform Excel file. You can think of it that way. You can see here this even looks like an Excel file. So if you're able to, in your current platform, export the user data into an Excel file or a C CSV, then using this plugin, it's possible to import all that user data into WordPress. So within the plugin, it has a certain format that it's expecting for the data, and that plugin is going to ask you to put together the CSV using those same columns, the same headers, and within your current platform, it will probably give you the username, the email. It may give you the password. A lot of platforms don't export the password in plain text. If that's the case, then after the import, your users will have to reset their passwords because you can only actually import what your current platform exports. You can only import what you're given. And then these fields can be mapped to metadata. For example, in BuddyPress, you have profile fields, which are for things like age, gender, location, city, state, zip, you know, whatever uh, miscellaneous data you're showing in a member profile. You get all that in the CSV, and you can run this plugin, and it will just import everything and create those users for you within WordPress. OK. So that's for user data. Now, when you have to import something like BBPress, for example, for forums, it gets more complicated. A lot of people have stuff besides just the users. So for one thing, your, your current platform may or may not export this Excel file. You might just be given the database, or maybe they export it as a JSON file or something. This is very technical, but the idea is they, they, they may or may not give you the data in this format, in which case you might need a developer to convert it into a CSV so it can be run through the plugin. Now, if you want to import forums, just to give one content type example, on BBPress, they ha have some importers for some of these popular forums. If you're running on something else, then you might need to have a developer create a custom script that will remap all the data and migrate it. And how that gets migrated and how that script is generated will depend on the format in which the data is delivered to you. So for example, we've done a lot of imports from Ning into BBPress. Ning is kind of a popular social network platform that's out there, but it's also 
uh, we've had a lot of users complain that it's locked down and, and it's hard for them to control things in it. Um, so often they want to import uh, from there into BBPress where it's much more flexible and under their, and the data's in their control. So how do you get your data out of a lockdown platform like that? So just as an example of Ning, they have an exporter tool, the Ning Network Archiver. So you can download this Ning Network Archiver, just Google it, and then you put in the credentials for your site and click continue, and it's going to give you all the different content that exists on your site, members, forums, etc. And for each one, you click to download, and it will download a JSON file, which is basically a formatted file of data for each one of those components. And for each particular component, you might need a developer to write a script that will import it. So the first thing that you want to do, no matter what platform you're on, is figure out, hey, how do I get the data out of this platform? Contact them, figure out what they give you. And then consider that each piece, each content type that you're going to want to import, whether it's members or profiles, whatever, is going to take some time from the developer to map and import. So you may not want all of it. You pick what are the things that you really need to have, and then you get the scripts written, and then all of that can be migrated back into WordPress. So depending on, on what type of content you want to import and what platform you're importing from and what plugin uh, within WordPress that data is going to be mapped to, the situation changes every time. But this gives you an overview of the approach that's taken, right? Basically, step one, figure out how do you, what data do you have access to in the platform and how do you export it. Step two, figure out what plugin you're importing it into. Is it BuddyPress, BBPress, something else? Step three, figure out if there's already a plugin like this that will assist with, with this, that will cut out a few steps in terms of migrating. And then if that doesn't exist, get a developer to write the migration script for you and do the import. So hopefully that, that helps you out. For more info, check out buddyboss.com, where you can learn about how to build your online community using WordPress and BuddyPress. Or check out our sister site, appboss.com, where you'll learn about how to take your WordPress community and make it available through a mobile app that your existing customers can download using their iPhone or Android device.